Uh, Brent Chalakian, play for Manly United. Hi, I'm Dylan McAllister, striker for Manly United. It's got to be me, hasn't it? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> he's old enough to be one, um, so he's got the experience. No, he's, he's great with everyone else in the team, so I reckon Macca for sure. <laughs> oh. Jamie Lobb. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, Jamie Lobb for sure. It's the only yeah. reason he got captain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, he's, he's really good with the lads, um, but he's even better with the gaffer, so <laughs> Lobby. For sure. Travel. Yeah. Travel, travel should, for sure. Got to yeah. agree with that. Yeah. Team night out, the smoke, bomb, smoke bombs it for the women, for sure. Trav. <laughs> Trav. <laughs> it just looks so natural. It, it is actually, he probably doesn't spend time in it, it's just so perfect. Yeah. Um, before the match, I don't think we, anyone spends that much time in the mirror, but um, Trav, after 90 minutes, his, his barnet is just spot on after 90 minutes, so. It's definitely not me. I've only got half a head of hair at the <laughs> <Yeah>. moment, so. <laughs> Next question. I'd probably say, actually, it'd have to be a partnership. <laughs> Dil Dylan Mitchell and Scott Balderson. I don't tough think it's a tough question. I don't think anyone is. Um, yeah, yeah, everyone, everyone's for the lads, I think. Yeah, gotta agree with that. <laughs> I reckon Marco Summers up oh, there. He's, yeah. a bit, he's a bit of a drama queen. Summer, yeah. If there's no, if there's no, if there's no parmesan cheese on the pasta <laughs> after the game, he loses it. Right sock, left sock, then left boot, right boot, in that order always. I'm going to say pasta. I always go pasta the night before. Yeah, the uh, missus has cooked me the same spaghetti bolognese before a game for the last, yeah, whatever it's been since I've known her. It's always worked, so. Yeah. There's always a bit of Drake going on, isn't there? Yeah, always a bit of Drake. That's Lee's go-to. Um, so yeah, as long as Lee's not on the speakers, I think everyone's pretty happy. Hey, we listen to uh, Summertime. What's that? <laughs> oh, this yeah. is that. Yeah, That's so, definitely become a team song with yeah. Marco Sama joining the club. So there's a song uh, called Summertime Sadness, and we just went with Marco <laughs> Sama, because like, Sama time. Um, that one stuck pretty well. Yeah, that's the one that gets us going for sure. Yeah. Uh, Tineski. Tineski's got a new pair of boots, I reckon, every second session. Yeah, the only reason he's got new ones because he gets rid of the old ones for free. Yeah, he does. Changes up at Rebel. He's, he's so. on like a warning list at Rebel. Yeah. Because he just comes ahead. back and changes and there's a cut in the laces. Yeah, I've got, I've got to have 10 or 12 pairs at home that, that I kind of use and not had or not <laughs> used for a long time. So I'd be up there, I reckon. Uh, good question. Probably Valentino Rossi, Mo MotoGP rider. Uh, I've kind of watched MotoGP since I was a little kid and he really changed the sport. Great character, um, and I've gone down to Phillip Island quite a few times, watched him over in Donington. Um, definitely the way he, he carries himself and he approaches his, his races, I think it'd be pretty cool to, to get inside his head and have a cheeky uh, pasta dish with him, the old Italian. Um, and I'm sure I'd chuck maybe a supermodel in there or somewhere, but I'm just be careful, my, probably my son and my wife will watch this. So. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Um, look, I'd probably go, this is probably cliche, but um, I wouldn't mind having a chat with uh, Ronaldinho. Um, he was kind of the, the player that I really modelled myself um, around when I started watching football. Um, now it's probably more like your Messi's and your Hazards, but um, Ronaldinho definitely, you know, just the way he loves the game um, and enjoys playing football is something that I try to do every time I step out on the pitch. Um, and the other one would probably be Muhammad Ali, um, you know, a real legend of his sport in boxing. Um, you know, he's quite charismatic and you know, again, the way he loves what he did, um, not beating people up, but just the sport in boxing himself, and he carried himself with quite some confidence. So I, I like Muhammad Ali too. Is that where you get your confidence from and all your talk? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it probably comes from Muhammad Ali. Jeez, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding? Oh, it's got to be my mate here, Jermaine Defoe. <laughs> I'm Crouchy, he's Defoe, he's my, he's my man crush. Um, no, and also, geez, that's a tough one. It's a bit weird. I don't, I don't want to be telling other people in the comp who's good yeah, looking. They'll probably kick me come round one. Maybe Ante Kovic. Oh, the big dog. Really? Yeah. Huge. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just going to have to go with Maka. You know, we link up pretty well on the field. I want a couple of assists off him this year, so I'm going to give him some props here and say he's on man crush. <laughs> Love Actually. Love Actually. Oh, jeez. Let me guess, Scarface. 
Nah, 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 definitely not. Oh, it did be up there. It'd yeah. be up. Nah, I'm gonna go with Remember the Titans. Classic sport film. Yeah. Uh, you know, really, really G's me up. Oh, one bedroom apartment in Sydney, that should use it all. <laughs> um, <laughs> nah. Oh, look, just, I, I would just spend it on, um, you know, a huge, huge holiday where you can go and travel the world, places that you might not see. Um, you know, with the people that you love the most, um, that would be something I'd do. And then, yeah, obviously buy buy a nice little place, shack up in somewhere like Barcelona, something beautiful in Spain, Greece maybe. Endless summer probably for me. Um, my wife's Norwegian, and we try to get over there as much as possible. And I've got four young kids, which you know, flights to Europe for one as expensive <laughs> as it is. So I'd probably uh, set myself up going back there every July for you know the summertime over there. Get down to Spain. Um, yeah, probably look after my my friends and take the team on the best end of season trip you've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually I probably should uh, pay my dad back all the money that he's invested <laughs> in me in my career. That would be number one actually. So yeah, dad, dad would get a fat little juicy check there I think. Oh, professional football, 100%. Don't say astronaut or fireman, something stupid. Football for me, 100%. I think I want to be a gardener to be honest. Some, something weird like that. You're, like, like, you're that now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Love the outdoors, you know, it wasn't, yeah, didn't really want to be a footballer until I got yeah, a little bit older, 10 or 11. Uh, I can just see you at like the Chelsea Flower Show. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you've had one there. Oh, you're going to have to say winning the league with Manly, that's mine. Yeah. Manly night, that, that, that experience, that penalty shootout, running after um, Nicky scored the winning pen, just an incredible feeling that... I just don't think I'll ever experience exactly the same as that feeling again. Obviously, we're going to do it again this year. Mm. Um, but uh, that's that, just not do it with pens, huh? Yeah, just not do it with pens. The 120 well. minutes kill me. Yeah, for me with Manly United, you know, I, I spent my junior junior years here playing. I'm, I'm a local guy. Um, came back to the club last season, and to win it first year was um, was really special.